Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, praise the Lord. Good morning and win today. Ladies and gentlemen, viewing me wherever you are and whatever you're doing, praise the Lord. Good morning and win today. This is Ruben Habasa, a prophet messenger of God Most High in this generation. This is Ruben Habasa, a prophet messenger of God Most High in this generation. I have a message for you. The message says, seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness. And this is part six of my message. The message says, seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness. And this is part six of my message. People of God watching me, I want you to understand this. God's kingdom is like a government. It has a constitution. This constitution, it is the living word of God. This constitution, it is the message God gives a prophet messenger for that age. The kingdom of God has a constitution. And this constitution, it is the living word of God for that age. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God. For example, in the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden, it was a picture of the kingdom of God being established for Adam here on earth. And the instructions of that kingdom, they were the laws God gave to Adam. Don't eat the fruit. Another good example, it's about Canaan in the generation of Prophet Moses. They were promised a promised their promised land was called Canaan. So Canaan was the picture of the kingdom of God being established for them here on this earth. And the instructions to see Canaan, the instructions to enter the promised land Canaan, it was the message God gave to the Hebrews through Prophet Moses in the desert. That message is written in the book of Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The message God gave to Moses to the Hebrews, it is written in the first book, in the first five books of Moses. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And that message, it is the construction for the kingdom of God, for the Hebrews. For them to enter the promised land Canaan, they had to obey their constitution. See, Jeremiah, in the generation of Jeremiah, he had a message from God. And that message was for the chosen people of God in that age. And that message is written in the book of Jeremiah. So that was the constitution for the people of the days of Jeremiah. The constitution of the kingdom of God. See, the Jews... The Pharisees of the days of Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth was given a message, and this message is written in the four Gospels according to Matthew, according to Mark, according to Luke, according to John. So the Jews, their constitution for the kingdom of God, it is written in the four Gospels. Look at Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul was commissioned to different nations. The Ephesians, the Corinthians, the Romans, the Galatians, the Thessalonians. The constitution of the kingdom of God for their age is written in the letters of Apostle Paul according to his commission. I, Ruben Habasa, a priest of God Most High in this age, God has given me a message, and this message is the constitution for the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of heaven, for this age. And I've written this message in my book, the book of Rauben called New Jerusalem. Currently, I have written phase one and phase two. By next year, 2023, I will release phase three. And at the end of 2048, that's when I will release phase four. The book of Rauben called New Jerusalem. It has a message God has given to me for this age. And that message, it is the constitution for the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of heaven being established for us 
here on this earth. According to the second phase of the book of Reuben called New Jerusalem, the second phase of the book of Reuben called New Jerusalem, chapter 23, verse 3 up to 10, it says, We are living in a world of globalization, economic uncertainty, terrorism, culture crash, family disintegration, corporate distrust, youth disillusionment, political confusion, and religious corruption. The solution is to seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. Verse 5. The kingdom of heaven is like a government. It has a constitution. And this is the living word of God. The message of the prophet messenger. But this government does not use the democracy system, which is people's power. Where people elect their leaders and the power belongs to people. The kingdom, power belongs to the king. And every word of a king is a law. This message shall reach in all world systems, religion, business, sports, social life, medical, technology, economic, culture, civic society, education, politics, arts, legislature, and government. You need to be free from these world systems. Because these world systems, they are the causes of death, financial problems, marriage problems, poverty, sickness, bad dreams, and wars, to mention but a few. And the evil one, the devil, has tried to use these world systems to divert man from God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved people of God viewing me, watching me, wherever you are, we are living in a world of globalization, a world of economic uncertainty, a world of terrorism, a world of culture crash, a world of family disintegration, a world of corporate distrust, a world of youth disillusionment, a world of political confusion. We are living in a world of religious corruption. We are living in a world of religious corruption, and the solution is to seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. As I told you, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, it has a constitution, and this constitution is the living word of God. The message God gives a prophet messenger. What I preach and teach, it is the constitution of the kingdom of God. For you to see the kingdom of heaven, for you to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must obey the constitution. The kingdom of God does not use democracy system. Democracy system, power belongs to people. People elect their leaders. The kingdom of God, power belongs to God. Power belongs to the king. God gives power and authority to his prophet messenger. And every word that comes from a prophet messenger becomes a law. This is why we see in the generation of Moses, Every word that came from the mouth of Moses became a law for the Hebrews. It was not the law to the Egyptians. It was not the law to the Canaanites. It was only the law to the Hebrews. Those ones who were heading to the promised land, Canaan, the chosen people of God. This message I preach and teach shall reach in all world systems. Currently, these are the world systems we have. Religious system, business system, sports, social life system, medical, technology, economic, culture, civic society, education, politics, arts, legislature, and government. You people, you need to be free from all these world systems because these world systems are the causes of death, are the causes of premature death. They are the causes of financial problems. They are the causes of marriage problems. They are the causes of these wars we see. They are the causes of COVID-19. They are the causes of wars between Russia and Ukraine. They are the causes of HIV AIDS. They are the causes of accidents. 
They are the causes of bad dreams, sicknesses, cancer, to mention but a few. That was part six of my message that says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. My WhatsApp number is plus two five six seven five triple six thirty five seven three. My WhatsApp number plus two two five six seven five triple six thirty five seven three. I remain Apostle Ruben Habasa, a prophet messenger of God Most High. Shalom, shalom.